Gloucester, Massachusetts, October 30th, 2001, 2100 hours. I know, I know, I promised I'd quit, but I was contacted by a man named Johnson to go to Shadow Island and investigate Obit Morton and the Epicanus writing tablet. Does that ring any bells? Now you understand why I couldn't say no and had to leave right away. I'm going tomorrow. I left some notes on the office desk. See you soon, Connie. Oh, I nearly forgot. If you want to contact Johnson, he's at 555-1495. Boston Police Department. Name, Fisk. First name, Charles. Date of birth, February 17th, 1944. Presumed date of death, October 24th, 2001. Somewhere in the United States, October 31st, 2001, 1800 hours, 43 minutes. So? They'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. Then the professor. Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her... We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Daddy? Daddy! Miss Sedrak? Uh, Aline? Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline, when we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Abkhanis stones. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. And I swear I'm gonna find whoever did it. I'm very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. We're getting close. Shadow Island. What was that?
me! Answer me, please! Aline, are you okay? How could I be okay? What was that thing? What the heck's going on here? At the moment, I've got no idea. Listen, I want out of here, right now! Look, don't panic. I'll think of something. Where exactly are you? On the roof of some kind of manor. I nearly got myself killed. I'm really scared. Please do something. I landed in some woods about a hundred yards from the manor. Can you see me? See you? How could I? Help me for Christ's sake. Turn on your flashlight. Okay. I can see you now. Okay. I see you too. Here's what we'll do. Try and get inside the manor, then find a place to hide. I'll come looking for you. How long will that take? I don't know. As little time as I can. What? Aline, I'll come for you. And that's a promise. Hurry. Oh my god! No, no, don't move. Don't move. Leave me be. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Who did this to you? This island is a hell hole. Not men, filthy beasts. Flee! Get out of here any way you can. How did you get here? The boat. Last shipment. He shot everyone. Look, just try to stay calm. You've got a gun. I'm needing you some bullets. I'll go and find help. You'll die like everyone else. Run. I'll be back.
What's going on? Things. Terrifying things. Shadows. Living shadows. Aline? It's awful. Come and get me. I'm begging you. Come quick. Aline! Aline!
Carnby? Carnby, answer me. Aline, I thought you were dead. I did too. I'm not cut out for this kind of place. I want this to stop right now. I understand. You understand? You understand? You don't understand anything. I don't know what you, Johnson, or Professor Morton want of me, but I'm asking for this nightmare to stop right now. Aline, get a grip on yourself. Where are you? In some room. But I can't get to you. One of the doors is locked, and I can crack the other one, but there's some heavy object blocking it. When I think it's Obed Morton who locked me in here, and I wanted to help him. Don't move. I'll come free you. Is that the best you can do? Yes, that's the best I can do. Well, okay then. Hurry up. Aline, any more news? I'm here waiting for you. What are you doing? I can't find the room in which you say you're locked up. It can't be that tough. I'm upstairs. There's a staircase in the lobby. Okay, I'll head over there. Thanks. Hurry up. Aline, any more news? I'm here. I can't... It can't be that tough. I'm... Okay, I'll head over there. I can hear you. 
Can you see what's blocking the door? I think it's just a chest of drawers. Well, then push it aside. At last. I want you to tell me what's going on. I don't know yet, but I do love your new outfit. It makes you look less, uh, you know... Yes, I know. <laughs> here, I got your stuff. Thanks. What about my jacket? Whoever locked you up in here probably thought it matched his hair. Listen, I should never have agreed to let you come along. I have my own reasons for being here. Were you able to talk with Obed Morton? No, were you? I'm not so sure. I have this feeling that there's more than one Obed Morton. It's way too dangerous. We have to find a safe place for you where you can hide and wait for me. Listen, Carnby. You know as well as I do that the safest place is at least two hours away by plane. I haven't done too bad up till now, and I sure don't intend to spend whatever time I have left doing nothing. I want to know. Just before, I heard this voice above us. There's a trap door. If you help me, I can reach it. But why not stick together? You and I don't have the same goals. Remember what you told me in the plane. Come on, give me a hand. What if I were to say no? You're not the type to say no. 